Hello everybody, and welcome to Yankee Dabbler, a model train store that is located at 101 Kings Highway in Belmar, New Jersey. My name is DJ, and today we're going to be looking at things that hopefully you can find if you have a modular railroad exhibit on your house. Um, what's going on? Everything okay? Yes, well, I was reading some of the comments of our last video, and some people said I was too goofy and joke around too much. So this is going to be the 100% joke-free, all-time serious show. So I hope you're ready to see the things that we have to showcase. Are you ready, Engineer Hall? Uh, yeah. Let me, let me work on if that. you divert your attention over here to these items here, we have here a couple of things that we put together. This is a Walther's Cornerstone Kit of a chemical distributor set. And if you take this out, we have some tank cars that would look good if they were receiving chemicals from this facility. Of course, that would be highly inappropriate to put real type of chemicals in this facility. So make sure that you follow proper EPA standards and don't try to do stuff like that. This is model after all. And then over here we have a... Hey, what? I don't like that. Well, I'm sorry, but we got to make sure that we're nice and safe on our railroad. So we have proper uh, safety precautions and we are allowed to operate in a precise manner. And then over here I have here the Modern Lumber Transloader, and that is a really neat kit as well from Walther's, and you can put your lumber on these types of flatbed bulkhead uh, flat cars here. You know what would be fun? What? Then you set off some fireworks in there. No, Engineer Hall, that would be highly inappropriate to set off any type of firework, especially if your state does not allow legal fireworks to be purchased. Make sure you follow proper guidelines. Now, the retail value of this chemical distributor set uh, retails for $129.98, and we're selling here a Yankee Dabbler for a discount of $103.98. And then, of course, the lumber, modern lumber translator sells for $59.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $47.99. These are neat kits to put together if anyone has ever done a Walther's kit. There is a lot of cool things that go into this stuff. And, of course, you can get very creative with the paints, and we have various paints on our website at yankeedabbler.com type it into your url and you will come up with our web page that has all of our paints so all aboarding for some railroad and building fun i don't like this let's keep it going we have some other products for your consideration we actually just got these in stock again these are the micro engineering company ho scale turnouts about to turn off the ho scale party Engineer Hall, this is a very serious topic that we're dealing with. It model railroading. We don't have time for your shenanigans. Come on, we can go to a party. Let's so anyway, to a party. we have here the left hand turnout and the right hand turnout. We got these back into stock, and these are really nice switches here. The retail value of these switches for code eighty three retails for thirty three dollars and fifty cents. Where we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for twenty eight dollars and forty eight cents. So if you're looking for some micro engineering turnouts. This is something that you should consider for your railroad. Another thing for your consideration for your railroad is we just got restocked from Midwest this uh, cork that you could use to dampen the sound or to create realistic scenes on your railroad. You know what else you use that for? Uh, I just Wrap around you. your head as a bandana like the Karate Kid. Engineer Hall, why would I dress up as a fictitious character to sell model trains? That's just silly. Why not? Now, I have here so much of this cork. Are you interested to hear some numbers? I've seen a whole box of them. Oh, well, boxes and top out. boxes. We ordered 17,800 pieces of cork. Ooh. Times that by three for each one of these is three foot. So we have 53,400 feet of cork. Now, if you divide that by 5,280, which is a mile, we literally have here at Yankee Dabbler 10 miles of cork. Not scale miles, but we have 10 miles of real cork at our store. He's, he's like 10 miles, like, I'll walk 10,000 miles, I'll Excuse do me, not 10,000 more. I'm, I'm trying to talk about Cork here that we have at our store. Engineer Hall. Okay. So we have oh, this cork on. here, and we sell them for various sizes on our website. For example, 
If you want 10 pieces of cork, we sell here a Yankee Dabbler for $24.99. And if you want a full box of 25, we sell here for $47.99. So if you're looking for some Midwest cork, we're your number one place to get it. So get some of our 10 models of cork and get the pudding, uh, get, have it put down rather on your train layout so you can dampen your sound, you can have realistic rail operation, and you can be the envy of everyone in the model train community. DJ. Mm -hmm. Come on, smile. Okay, Engineer Hall, now is the time for the part of our show where we're going to take a look at various motive power. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do an all theme show for locomotives. They're all going to be from the Pennsylvania Railroad. Now, are you interested in some history, Engineer Hall? I am, but I don't like this. I don't like this. This is not. We don't like this. I'm sorry, but this is a very serious hobby, and what is that? Come on. I know you want to play. Come on. I do, come on. I know you want to play. Hall, we do not do those silly things here. And if you're not going to be serious, I'm going to pick a different cameraman from a more serious railroad, possibly CSX. Oh, really? That's what you want to do? Mm hmm Okay. Anyway, so if we take a look at the history of the Pennsylvania Railroad, it's quite interesting. The Pennsylvania Railroad, and of course its legal name was known as the Pennsylvania Railroad Company, also known as the Pensy, was an American Class One railroad that was established in 1846 and headquartered in Philadelphia. And it was the Commonwealth in which it was established. At its peak in 1882, the Pennsylvania Railroad was the largest, both by traffic and revenue, the largest transportation enterprise and the largest corporation in the world. Would you like Engineer Hall? Can huh? you wake up, please? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about the history of the Pennsylvania oh. Railroad. Frank, do you not find the Pennsylvania Railroad fascinating? Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Sorry, well, just tired. Well, maybe we should just take a look at some of the engines, Engineer Hall. So why don't we divert our camera downward so we can take a look at what we now, have. Now, these are all locomotives that we have looked at our show in the past, but maybe you missed them the first time. So let's go over them. So from Walters here, I have an SW7 switcher. Really neat looking diesel locomotive here, and of course, Pennsylvania Railroad. An Atlas Pennsylvania engine that I have here is the U30C. It has a really neat looking diesel locomotive here. From Bowser, I have here an RS3, and I like the keystone looks on that engine. There's a lot of really neat uh, detailing happening there. From Rapido, we have here an E8 diesel locomotive here. I just had the A's left in stock, but these are really striking looking diesel engines. And of course, Engineer Hall, I had to get a steamed engine, and this is from uh, Broadway Limited, and this is the E6 Atlantic, and this is actually the glossy museum version. So if you were to go to the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum, that's exactly what that engine looks like. Of course, in N-Scale, I also got a couple, uh, I have an engine with a couple cars here. This is the Atlas Trainmaster. We looked at these not too long ago, and I put a couple Bowser hopper cars in back of it. So this is my all Pensy lineup engineer hall. What do you think of this? I think the folks at Pensy will appreciate you doing a segment just on Pennsylvania Railroad. Very good. I think we're going to do this throughout our uh, our show. We're going to do showcase various different types of railroads. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at some of these engines in action so you can see what they look like, what they sound like. They each have different uh, decoders. They all have uh, different sounds, different uh, features. So without further hesitation, let's knock off these shenanigans and get things started. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. Sure about that. Engineer Hall, please. Come on. I like what you do better than that. Okay, let's go, Engineer Hall. All right, we'll okay, go. Okay, we're going to run the trains now. I don't have time for the you want, bell. You want a little bell? Come on, look. Little bell. For the bell. You hear that, you hear I don't, that over there? I don't, look, look, people I don't, don't like this. I don't have time. It's not this. exciting. Let's run. Let's go. <laughs> you just yeah. walk off on me like that? Let's take a listen to the bell. The horn.
This is fun. That was a lot of fun running all those various different Pennsylvania engines. And remember with the steam engine, if you're using a Broadway Limited steam locomotive, make sure that you use Broadway Limited smoke, otherwise you're gonna damage the uh, parts there. And we do sell this year Yankee Dabbler. So if you're interested in that engine, which in my opinion, I love steam engines, that's one of my favorite ones there. Look, make he's smiling. Yeah, a little smile. Make sure that you get this uh, rolling on your rails today. Now you might be interested on uh, what these things cost. Well, I'm going to tell you the uh, prices on these diesel locomotives, okay? So if you're interested in the Pennsylvania Railroad SW7, this one retails for $209.98, but we have this here Yankee Dabbler for $178.48. Good deal. For the U30C, this was an Atlas locomotive. This one retails for $299 with Big Five, but we're selling here Yankee Dabbler for $219.99. So that's a great deal to get on that diesel locomotive. If you like the E8, which is a Rapido engine, this one is great. It has a whole bunch of goofy sounds. This one retails for, whoops, sorry. This one retails for $339.95, but we're selling here Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. And again, I only have the A's left, but it is this, a very striking diesel locomotive engine your hall, wouldn't you say? Very nice. It's very nice. If you're interested in the RS3 from Bowser, this one retails for $309.95, but we're selling here Yankee Dabbler for $229.99. And then I'm not going to pick it up, but you can pan down to the E6. That one retails for $599.99, but we're selling them for $479.99. And I'm actually going to switch positions because we also had that N-Scale Trainmaster engine. This one retails for $249.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $169.99. And the hopper cars that we were using, the, uh, that that train was pulling, these cars retail for $24.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $14.99. So I know I threw a lot of prices at you. And also, I should let you know, if you're not a fan of the Pennsylvania Railroad, but say I wanted a SW7 or if I wanted a U30C, well, we have other versions and other road names as well. I just picked the Pennsylvania engines so if you're looking for something maybe uh, uh, an e8 lo locomotive check out our website yankeedoubler.com type that in the search bar what you're looking for and hopefully we got the locomotive that you want pulling your trains well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our ultra serious Yankee Dabbler episode here today. Engineer Hall, did you have a good time? Um, um about that, um, you know, you should get Christian here because you got a flat. Nobody likes that. Oh, Christian? We fired Christian. No. He was way too goofy, so he had to go. So who has got to replace him? Well, don't worry. We hired a new sidekick here. He is ultra serious as well. Uh, I would like to introduce Cody. Cody to the show. Hello. Welcome. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Yeah. He's a riot, so you're really going to enjoy him in future series. Oh, no. So let's take a look at the things that we took a look at, at here at today's show. So in our All Pennsylvania show, we started out here with our couple of Walters kits here that we had here. We had the chemical distributor, and we had here the lumber, a modern lumber transloader. And we have a couple of cars here that you can put with those scenes. We have here literally... We had 10 miles of cork here, Engineer I Hall. Engineer Hall, please miles, keep to yourself. We have 10 miles of cork here from Midwest Products. We have here back in stock at a micro engineering company. We got the turnouts here. And then for our all HO and, and N scale Pennsylvania show, we hear um, this Walters SW7, this Rapido E8, this uh, Atlas U30C. This uh, Bowser RS3, this Atlas Trainmaster, and this Broadway Limited E6. And I'm surprised that I remembered every one of those manufacturers and designations.
If you are not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, I want you to click on your mouse on the icon that says subscribe, and then you're going to click it so you can get notifications of all the various things that we have here on the Engineer Hall channel. For our RailFan video for this uh, evening show, we are going to be taking a look at a Norfolk Southern Heritage Engine. I was fortunate enough to catch the Central Railroad of New Jersey Heritage Engine go through downtown Altoona, pulling a nice long train, and I hope you enjoy seeing that RailFan video. So if you excuse me, I need to now plan and come up with new ideas with my new sidekick about various shows that we have coming up. Cody, do you have any ideas? For next week's show, we will be discussing adhesives in their applications with dissimilar materials, Ooh. as well as similar materials. That sounds like a LARF. Well, why don't we go plan that one out? Yes. Bye, everyone.
take a look at the New Jersey Central Heritage Unit going through downtown Altoona, pulling a nice long consist. It's really neat. I was really happy to see this locomotive here. And so, thank you, Engineer Hall. I'm gonna dispose of this in the wastebasket. Now, if you excuse me, I had to go plan some more fun shows with my new sidekick, Cody. How about this show, Engineer Hall? We'll do a show where we will show how we wire decoders. I got new. I got a better idea. Yes. Look, look. Come on.